Good morning. This video talks about the Bank of New York Mellon and their involvement with the Sinclair Media Group and possibly with the Renaissance Technologies. Well, not possibly. I'll talk about that too. In case people don't know, Sinclair Media is what fueled Donald Trump's presidency is what got him to be president. Sinclair Media is the fake news outlet that basically promoted a bunch of bullcrap to the American public in order to get Donald Trump elected. And the people who own the Sinclair Media Group are obviously not good people. They're bigots, they're biased, they're racist, they're elitist, and possibly a number of them are pedophiles and organ traffickers. That has yet to be seen. But let's just say Sinclair Media controls something like 70% of all media outlets in the United States. So when you turn on the TV or when you turn on the radio or when you go and read a newspaper, you're just probably going to come across the Sinclair Media Group somewhere. And they're the ones that backed and promoted Donald Trump. Now wait a minute. Let's back up. Who's backing and promoting the Sinclair Media Group? Is it just the Sinclair family? Nope. Guess who it is? Yup. It's the Bank of New York Mellon. The Bank of New York Mellon is the largest investor in the Sinclair Media Group. Now, obviously, if you don't agree with somebody's politics, you're not going to invest in their politics, right? Like, you don't see the Bank of New York invested in Francisco Maduro in Venezuela but they're invested with the Sinclair Media Group. Because why? Because they back what the politics are of the Sinclair Media Group. And they use the Sinclair Media Group to promote their agenda and to control the public and the public opinion. As the number one investor of the Sinclair Media Group, the Bank of New York basically controls what people get in their news. The Bank of New York Mellon controls what people think. This is unbelievable, right? So, I found all this out because in my own case, I was like, how is it that I have this multi-million dollar problem with the Bank of New York Mellon, but it never came out in the public? It was never once mentioned, but dead dogs lying in the middle of the road are more in public on Sinclair Media channels than my multi-million dollar problem with the Bank of New York Mellon. Factor in that I had a Yahoo account that somehow was terminated for no reason unilaterally by Yahoo just one day saying, we reserve the right, we don't have to tell you why, we, you haven't broken any of our policies, but we're going to cancel your account. Who do you think had that happen? The Bank of New York Mellon. There's a saying in Spanish, it goes, el que paga manda. That means, who he, pay, he who pays gets to decide what to do, basically. So the Bank of New York exercises this philosophy of we're paying so we're buying we're gonna tell you what to do you didn't see the Bank of New York go back a leftist government in Chile no they went and paid for a right-wing dictator like Pinochet to go into Chile to control the price of copper and at the whole and during the whole time controlling the media and controlling policy and public opinion through the Sinclair Media Group now Factor in that the Bank of New York Mellon is also in cahoots with Renaissance Technologies. If you don't know what Renaissance Technologies is, it's a software programming company that developed a program that does predictive marketing on every single American. And whether you know it or not, whether you like it or not, whether you you don't want them to or not even, Renaissance Technologies controls all your personal information. Every time you made a click on Facebook, every time you did anything, they know who your sister is, your brother is, your birth date, the last place you lived, your employer, everything, they know everything about you. Okay? So that if you go try to make a stock play in the stock market, they know what you're going to do. This is what the Bank of New York Mellon is using in conjunction with the Sinclair Media Group to not only manipulate public opinion but the stock market, the flow of finances, people's lives. They're doing what would we 
what would be called in the psychology world, for any of you who are not sure, go look it up. It's called social determinism. So now the Bank of New York's been caught doing all these horrible things. I, my family paid for it to do good things. We paid the commission to set aside its time to do the right thing. But instead, with the time that we paid for, the Bank of New York went out and helped money launderers and organ traffickers and pedophiles and people like Donald Trump, Harvey Weinstein, Les Wexner, Jeff Epstein, the Sinclair family, and to do what? To, to promote this racist, elitist agenda? You know, now they don't want to have to be held responsible for their actions. Right? You hear about everybody saying, oh, you need to be responsible for your actions. Suffice it to say that it is enough that I'm responsible for my own actions in this life. But I'm not going to be responsible for anybody else's. And I'm certainly not going to be responsible for the banks. But on the same token that I'm going to be responsible for my actions, I expect everybody else to be responsible for theirs. How's that? Instead of being bigots and hypocrites, maybe you ought to try being responsible for your actions. Here's how that works in New York law. If you're the fiduciary of a trust and you know something was wrong, then you have a fiduciary responsibility as a trustee to correct that wrong and when you don't and you knowingly commit the wrong over and over again and instead of correcting it you make it worse and then you try to cover it up that's against the law that's not being the fiduciary that is not upholding the fiduciary responsibility in fact that's called breach of fiduciary responsibility because as a fiduciary you knew something was wrong but you didn't do anything to correct it and you tried to hide it and he tried to commit a fraud even and defraud the beneficiaries into believing that there's something else going on. That's not what the fiduciary does, see. So now, the Bank of New York does these things and then they cover it up because they don't want to be responsible for their actions. And they use the Sinclair Media to cover it up and they use Renaissance Technologies to do predictive marketing on everybody so they know you know, what's going to happen in your life and so they can try to mess with you. These are the kinds of things that happen every day all across our country to unsuspecting individuals who think they actually have a fair chance at participating in capitalism when they actually don't. And it's all because of people who work at the Bank of New York Mellon and the Bank of New York Mellon as a corporate entity itself. When's the last time a corporation ever went to jail? When's the last time anybody ever who worked at a corporation went to jail? Really? Kenneth Lay? Enron? Didn't he hang himself? And his money went to his family anyway? Come on. Let's get real. Quit living a charade. Quit living a lie. Be responsible for your actions. There's another expression in Spanish which goes, Si tomas chocolate, Pagas lo que debes. If you drink the chocolate, if you drink the hot chocolate, you got to pay for what you took. So now I'm expecting the bank to pay back all the money that owes me. I don't care about Sinclair Media. I don't care. You can try and cover it up with your fake news outlets all you want. But you're not going to win. Because the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to require me to shut the bank's doors. For real. And I don't think anybody really understands what that might mean. But that's coming. Should the bank not settle with me.